In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to lazy load images on your site using a plugin. This plugin only has three settings. It's super simple, but it can have amazing effects on your site speed. If you're not sure what lazy load images are, keep on watching. I'll explain them in the tutorial, and we're getting started right now. I pulled this blog post off of WPLearnLab.com, which is my main site, put it on my demo site so we can play around with it. And if you want to read the full thing, go to the main site. And I picked this post because it has lots of images and a video. And what this plugin does, I'm going to show you the end result right now, is it adds a thumbnail instead of loading the video. This is not the video itself. This is a thumbnail that when you click on it, there's going to be blank space, and then the video will play a few seconds later. The length of that white space depends on the user's internet connection speed. But mine's pretty quick, so that didn't take very long at all. And then these images are being loaded as we scroll down the page. So when a user comes to a page, all they see is this first part, everything above the fold. They don't need to see all the images down below, but by default, websites load all of the images down below, and that slows down your loading time. So as we scroll down, these images are being loaded in as we go. They're small images, so it goes really fast, but they're being loaded down in as we scroll down. As I said, there's a lot of images. So what I'm going to do is remove the plugin, test the site speed, put the plugin back in, test the site speed, and configuration involves, I think, four clicks of the mouse, and that's it. So it's going to be super easy. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the plugin. The plugin is this one right here, Lazy Load by WP Rocket. Let's deactivate that. And now when I refresh out here, you're going to see this video thumbnail being slightly different because it's going to load the actual video because the plugin is disconnected. As we see, it's a bit smaller. We've got an active play button. This is actually a direct connection to YouTube now. We push play, it starts loading immediately. There's no white space like we saw earlier. So the plugin is now turned off. Let's go to GT Metrics. Paste the URL in there. It's got the URL from up here. Paste it in there, click on Analyze. This site's currently hosted on InMotion, and for some reason, my InMotion account is really slow. So you're going to see a very slow load time. Even though the website has nothing going on, this is the slow server. So we have a load time of 5.3 seconds, two megabytes total page size, 73 requests, and each image is another request. And all kinds of other stuff is requests too, but every, anytime the page requests something that counts as a request and slows down your site. So now all we're gonna do is come back in here, activate this plugin, go to settings, and then lazy load is a new menu option the plugin adds. If these three boxes aren't checked, you can go ahead and check any one of these three I check all three and then click on save changes down below. And that's all the settings for this plugin. There are no other settings. So that's all you have to do. If you think this is helpful content, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified when I publish new videos because I'm publishing on a regular basis and I create videos to help you. So make sure you subscribe. And if you're not sure how to install a plugin, let's go to plugins and then add new. Look up lazy load. And this is the one I use right here. I use WP Rocket on my main site. It's awesome for site speed. And this is a great lazy load plugin because it's one of the few that replaces YouTube videos with thumbnails. All other lazy loads do images really well, but not all of them do videos. This one does videos as well. But I like WP Rocket, that's why I'm using it. Feel free to try a different one. Just click on Install Now, and then Activate. And then we can refresh this page, make sure our video is now a thumbnail again. And it is, back to a thumbnail. Go back to GT Metrics. I'm gonna leave this page open. I'm gonna open a new tab, GT Metrics, so we can compare the two. Paste in our URL again, click on Analyze. Now our load time has gone down to 3.4 seconds, down from 5.3. The total size of the original page was two megabytes. Now it's 900 kilobytes. And requests were 73. Requests are now 41. And even our page speed score went up from 58 to 63. Not a huge improvement, but there's a big improvement in site speed. That's shaving off almost two seconds, 1.8 seconds, just by installing that simple plugin that loads images as people scroll and replaces YouTube videos with thumbnails. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below or check out the Facebook group linked to in the description where you can post your questions and probably get answers. Now, if you have a lot of images on your site, this is definitely a plugin that could help your site load faster for your visitors. If you don't have a lot of images and you don't have any videos on your site, this plugin probably won't help at all. So don't use it. But if you have lots of images, lots of videos, check out this plugin or check out a different one. Check out a different lazy load plugin 
and see if your site speeds up. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or in the private Facebook group. There's a link to it in the description down below. And make sure you click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on your screen so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.